Hey everyone, this is AJ with Blackhawk Bushcraft bringing you another video of something that I wanted to show you that I picked up. I uh, haven't really had a chance to use it yet, but uh, looked pretty cool and so I wanted to do a quick review on this. For those of you who are familiar with Camping and Woodcraft by Kephart, uh, the following quote may ring a bell. A folding pocket lantern of Stonebridge or Alpine type for candles is best for men in light marching order, but let it be of tin or brass. Those made of aluminum are much too frail. And that's what I wanted to show you is this Stonebridge folding lantern made of brass that I picked up. Uh, and it's pretty unique little vintage lantern, the way that it folds up. It's made of brass. The uh, windows are actually made out of mica, which is a mineral. Very flexible, almost plastic-like, but very, very resilient to heat and also breakage. Uh, it has a lot of flex to it. So pretty much the lantern is this. Folds up. And the top folds down and it clips right there and there you have this little stone bridge folding lantern made of brass uh, very similar to what Kephart would have carried as well as uh, other well-known individuals such as Stuart Edward White um, he pretty much said the same thing in his book the stone bridge folding candle lantern lanterns is the best I know of it folds quite flat has four mica windows and is easily put together. The measurements folded are only four by six by four inches by one to two inches thick, and it's weighed about 13 ounces. And he goes on, that's from Camp and Trail. So this is the lantern, and uh, pretty unique little lantern. Not something, if you're looking to cut down on weight, uh, it, I mean, it's not terribly heavy, but it's uh, something, you know, you'd want to take into consideration if you're going to pack a folding lantern. But I'll tell you, I can see a lot of great uses for a little folding lantern like this. It does have a hole right here in the back if you needed to mount it on a peg or a nail. And here it says right at the top, the Stonebridge Automatic Folding Lantern. Um, pretty, pretty nifty little uh, gadget. Uh, and again, it just, if you need to fold it up, basically just push the bottom in the windows fold down and this bends down and it folds flat just like that and fits inside the leather case that it came with now I do have to say with the leather case I am NOT overly impressed with it as you can see it's meant to hold three candles they do not retain very well so I'll have to figure something out to uh, allow for better retention for the candles but it can hold three beeswax candles or other candles um, of this type. Anyways, pretty cool. And then the way that it the, the candle goes in, let me just pull this out again and put it up. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. Fold it up and push the bottom in. And that just latches and then these candles uh, if you can see down here this little piece of metal right down there it's just basically looks like two little wires suspended that flex and also will fold down when the bottoms pushed in and you basically just take the candle and you set it in like that and it will not come out it's held in via compression and let's see here let's go ahead and give this a little light okay there we go and we'll go ahead and close the top and clasp it down And there it is. Cool little nifty lantern. Brass stone bridge lantern. I think this was early 1900s um, when stone bridge company made these. I'm not exactly sure on the historical specs, but anyways, just wanted to show you this really cool lantern. 
I picked this up through Garrett Wade. I'll put the link in the description. Of course, you can probably pick these up uh, elsewhere as well. Um, but yeah, pretty nifty little item. I'm looking forward to using it on uh, my next little trip outdoors. And we'll see how it goes. But I can see how that would be just really nice. You could, you know, suspend it from a peg off of the back. Or, you know, you've got the the bell at the top where you could uh, hang it, uh, you know, from uh, your ridge line or anything like that. Or just set it down on, you know, a stump or whatever you need to do to, to work and have some light in the dark. Uh, reminiscent of the way that it would have been done back in the days of Kephart and White and Nesmuk and all those other individuals that uh, would have carried something like this at the time light by candle in a very nifty folding lantern so anyways thank you so much uh hope that you found this little uh review fun um again i'll add the links in the description please like and subscribe thank you very much for your support of the channel and we'll talk to you soon take care Bye bye